Hey crafty friends. Okay, so today we are going to be putting together a um, poison bottle candy dome. So as you can see, I have my art glitter glue here that I will be using for all of my gluing. I've got my dome, which is um, 3.14 inches or 80 millimeters in diameter. And I've got some candies that I will be using um, to fill my dome. I also have my hot glue gun off camera I will be using to glue the dome down, okay? So let's get started. As you can see, I have all of the layers kind of stacked here. I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing these down together. Um, I'm gonna speed up the video a little bit so that way um, we're not just watching <laughs> all of the glue here. Okay, so I've got all of my layers, they're glued down here. If you have any glue that's seeping through, you know, just kind of wipe it along the side. That'll help to glue the layers together and to kind of keep them bonded. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue my candy dome down first. Um, if you remember, this one had score lines here and those score lines were just to kind of help us. I've got so much glue on my fingers. <laughs> those score lines were there to just kind of help us to line up where we want the candy dome to be. Um, so you can decide, like they have this tab here, you can decide which way you want yours to go. I think I'm just gonna kind of keep mine here off to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add the glue right here, right along the score lines. And it's not the most perfect circle, but that's okay. And then I'm just gonna place it down right there. I probably should have added it just right to this. It would have been probably prettier. <laughs> Okay, so then just kind of um, press and hold it and keep it there so that way it stays. And then I'm gonna put it off to the side so it can dry. All right, let's work on the mechanism now. Okay, so we've got these five layers here. What we're going to do, these two are exactly the same. We're going to glue these two together because these are going to be the actual sliding part here. So we're gonna glue these two together here. And so I just held them between my fingers to get them lined up. Then this part, what I'm going to do is I am going to put this one and glue these right one on top of the other. So I'm gonna add the glue to the back of this one here. And then I'm going to layer it right on top. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add a little bit of glue right here to this tab and this tab. And then we're going to fold it right over and right on top, right there. Okay. And then this one, this slider part will sit right here on top of this one. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this other piece. I'm going to place this one right on top here. But before I do that, I'm going to take these two tabs and I'm gonna glue these down, okay? So I've just folded them, and I'm gonna add a little bit of glue right there and right there, then pressing those down together. Press and hold if they need to um, seal there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna take the two tabs that I just folded, and the two tabs that I folded on this bottom part here, I'm gonna line these two so that way they kind of like kiss and face, face each other here. And I'm gonna glue them together. So I'm gonna add a little bit of glue right there on top of the tab directly. 
And then, so I've got my two tabs here. I'm going to line them up so that way they kind of kiss each other there. All right. Okay. So there it is. Now I'm going to flip it over. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a little bit of glue right here and right here. And then I'm going to fold all of these tabs down to kind of seal that slider in on the inside. And if you need to, press and hold it to make sure that everything seals down. Now, when we go to do these bottom ones here, I'm gonna add a little bit of glue to where I want it to seal. But this time, I'm not gonna fold it so it's super tight. I'm gonna use my fingernail and just kind of come in and bend it just a little bit. So bending it just a little bit to kind of create that fold. Press and hold if you need. And then, I didn't use my fingernail on that one. We don't want it to be um, super tight because then it will be hard to slide it. We want to make sure that there's just a little bit of wiggle room in there. Um, and I'm gonna do the same thing here along the bottom. And then using my fingernail, just kind of bending it and pressing it there. This is where you're gonna get glue everywhere. My hands are already covered in glue because I've been crafting. <laughs> And then I decided to make the video and didn't clean off my hands. <laughs> okay, so again, if you see any of it just sticking up, just come back in and press and hold it down and give that glue a chance to um, seal and bond to the paper. And we're gonna do the same thing here on this side, a little bit of glue. Use your fingernail to just kind of bend it. There's no score lines here with this one because it's such a small tab that it would have just been really hard and we're not trying to create you know, a score line like that. All right, so just pressing and holding, pressing and holding again. Okay, and so then you can slide it. See, mine was a little off. Uh-oh, <laughs> there it goes, okay. So you can slide it right in there. I made some of them a little too tight, but it's okay, it'll work. So you can see, just needs to get the paper going. There we go. And so you can slide it right in there. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over our um, poison bottle here. We're going to open it up. And so we're going to line that opening up with this opening here. All right. So I'm going to then flip this over. I'm going to go in and add glue all around this part here. So that way I can create that seal to the back. And so with it open, just line it up right on top there and then press it down. Okay, and then you can slide to close, slide to open. And what I like to do is I like to fold this one kind of and give it a little bit of a tab so it's easier to grip and it's easier to slide and open, okay? And then you can fill it up with your candies. I've got mints here for now <laughs> as I'm filming the video. Um, we don't have all of our candies yet for the kids in the neighborhood. Um, but you can just fill it up with your candies. I would make sure to use individual wrapped candies only because of the hot glue that we use on the other side. Then you can close it and then there you go. You've created your bottle. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this one and that it's a success for you. Um, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and happy crafting.